the record label or the movie studio is contracting with ABC Corporation in the first place. Hi everyone, welcome to the Carter for Media. For those of you that don't know, I'm Isaro. I'm an attorney and I'm the founder of The Carter Firm. The Carter Firm is a law firm based in New York City and was founded to guide clients who are creatives, entrepreneurs, and specifically creative entrepreneurs through the legal aspects of their work. In a nutshell, I counsel clients who are looking to empower themselves through a greater and more deep understanding of the legal processes and principles at play impacting their works and their bottom line. Today, I'm gonna to be speaking generally about loan out companies, corporations. Specifically, I'm going to be talking about what they are and what they can do for individuals like musicians, athletes, actors, writers, etc. Throughout this video, I'm going to be using the words corporation and company interchangeably. It's not a mistake. I'm just not going to be getting into the weeds about the different legal entities that can be formed to accomplish the things discussed here in this video. Today. Also, very important, the information presented in this video is not legal advice. The information presented in this video is intended to convey general information only and not legal advice. No action should be taken in reliance on the information contained in this video. You need to be contacting an attorney for advice on specific legal issues that are unique to you and your situation. As in, I'm a lawyer, but I'm not your lawyer. This is not legal advice, just general information. So depend on it at your own risk. The internet is a scary place. If you need legal advice, hire a lawyer to be your lawyer. Now that that's out of the way, let's get right into it. So a loan out corporation, a loan out company is typically a corporation owned by an athlete, a musician, an actor, some type of entertainer, performer. For the purpose of this conversation, I'll be calling them an artist. Generally, the artist is the only shareholder of the corporation and is in charge of everything that the corporation does. Now, what is a loan out corporation and why are they set up in the first place? Well, they usually form them and maintain them as a way to protect their assets and also obtain certain kinds of tax benefits because they have to enter into a lot of different agreements to get their work done and to get paid. So they'll set up a loan out corporation and then that loan out corporation is the actual entity that is signing agreements with like say a record label or a movie studio production company, something like that, when the artist themselves gets work. So say you have artist A and then artist A sets up ABC Corporation when they get a job like through their agent or whatever, when the contract and things are drafted, artist A does not sign the, their employment agreement personally. Like they don't sign that agreement personally with the record label or with the movie studio. They sign as ABC Corporation. ABC Corporation, if, now that we're going through with this example, ABC Corporation then is in the position to be leasing out the services of artist A to that record label, that movie studio. Now again, why does artist A want to do that? Why does artist A want to have that buffer in between them and the movie studio or the record company? The biggest reason is asset protection. Because the corporation or the company is a separate legal entity from the artist themselves, so like in this situation, ABC Corporation is a separate legal entity from artist A. They're completely different in the eyes of the law. Because of this, the company's property and assets are the only property and assets that ABC's creditors can go after. Now creditors are like people that ABC company may owe money or services to. That means owner of ABC Corporation, artist A, if like a deal goes awry or whatever, artist A doesn't have to worry about their personal property, like the cash in their bank, like their house, whatever, they don't have to worry about their personal property being the property that creditors can recover from to get repaid from. In the case of like any liability arising from something like a car accident or like a breach of contract or something like that. It's worth noting that like ABC Corporation is not going to protect artist A from liability like a vicarious copyright infringement, right? So if artist A now steals the copyrighted work of another and tries to pass it off as their own within the context of the agreement that they've signed with 
the movie studio or the record label. ABC Corporation is not going to protect artist A from that type of liability. You did that. They're coming for you. Whoever owns the copyright is coming for you. And this is because artist A had the ability to control what ABC Corporation was doing. They're the ones who actually did the infringement. And similarly to that, whatever third party artist A is going to be contracting with for their services, well, ABC Corporation is going to be contracting with to loan out the services, <laughs> loan out the services for artist A, that record company or movie studio is going to want artist A themselves to sign an inducement letter, which then induces artist A into the agreement. And now in the inducement letter, artist A is going to be personally agreeing to provide the services contracted for in the agreement with ABC Corporation, right? Because if they don't do that, then ABC Corporation could essentially loan out the services of anybody else and not artist A. And the whole reason that they can loan out the services of potentially any other artist that is employed by ABC Corporation, because mind you, artist A would be an employee of ABC Corporation. And that is the whole reason why the record label or the movie studio is contracting with ABC Corporation in the first place to be able to loan out the services of this artist A in particular. Without the inducement letter, it's possible that artist A doesn't personally deliver the services at all, which would make the agreement between ABC Corporation and the record label or movie studio irrelevant because they wanted artist A. Someone like artist A would also have a loan out corporation because it helps you with like your fiscal year tax planning. And I mean, definitely speak to a tax attorney, a tax accountant, somebody who is familiar with this stuff. I just know that in the simplest form, it helps you break down like how you're gonna do, it helps you save money in the long run if you if you plan things out right. A really carefully considered fiscal strategy is gonna help you stagger out the distributions of like your income and your losses so that your money is more fluid and more manageable. But of course, get an accountant, tax accountant, tax attorney in on that because they're the experts on that. <laughs> I'm an entertainment and IP attorney. I'm not an expert in taxes and such. It's also beneficial to have a loan out corporation or company for the sake of the taxes that you actually pay. Like you can end up, I guess, paying uh, lower corporate taxes. Again, speak to an expert on things like that because individuals pay taxes on taxes on like a tiered basis based on like how much money you make and corporations are pretty much taxed at a flat rate and that rate is usually lower than the tax rate that you'd have to pay if you were filing as an individual like if you had the same income so of course as you can see like there are a lot of moving parts at play which is why you know you speak to that tax accountant, that tax attorney, to see what your options are and what's best for you. And then there are other tax advantages that were created under the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017. And basically under that act, commissions that are paid to agents, managers, or other like legal fees, paid in connection with securing employment aren't tax deductible, but they are tax deductible for a corporation. So, you know. Having a loan out corporation is something to think about as an artist. And then there are other benefits that you can have that concern medical reimbursement and like other employee benefit plans that entertainers, artists can benefit from greatly when they have a loan out corporation. But of course, again, I will say this, speak with the tax experts. They're experts in all those tax deductions, your tax accountant expert in tax deductions get one that also like deals with entertainment all day because they'll they can really get down to the nitty-gritty and help you save like every single cent so if you're an artist an entertainer and you're thinking huh you know I want to protect my assets I want to pay less in taxes or I want to be more savvy about my taxes and how much money I'm giving back to the government <laughs> so when should I start thinking about that in my circle I always hear the number of like 100,000, 125,000. Once you're in that range, once you're grossing that range every year, that's when a loan out corporation really makes sense. 
for an artist or an entertainer, but it could also depend on your expenses. It's really, it's really subjective and specific to the individual situation, which is why I really, I am, I'm stressing the fact that you should talk to um, an accounting expert for that because they can easily just like take a look at, you know, like your balance sheet and like your books and tell if having a loan out corporation like makes sense for you in the moment. And I also stress the fact of like getting the right type of experts like on your side because having a loan out corporation takes proper planning, forming it the right way, and it requires a lot of maintenance and administration. Otherwise it can end up being a huge pain in your butt. So it's worth the time and money to seek out professional help from a tax advisor. Yes, I'm an attorney and I can help somebody to create that legal entity. And I can give you a few tips here and there on like the differences at law, just at the corporate law level, like at the business law, corporate law level. A tax advisor is going to tell you the difference at the tax level. And that's really, really important. But then also an accountant is going to tell you what can go into what category and really like the tips and tricks on how to put what into what category so that you can get the most bang for your buck it's important to carve out like that team of advisors who understand your needs, but who also understands your industry, right? I don't think that you want a tax advisor that looks at like construction people's stuff all day, doing your entertainment industry stuff. There are things that are not going to be quite the same. The entertainment industry is different. You want somebody who knows how the rules and the laws and the tax laws apply to you specifically as an entertainment industry professional. But at the end of the day, it is up to you what you wanna do and what your budget is and how much you're willing to pay to get things done right. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you get a better idea of what a loan out corporation is, a big picture view of their value to entertainers and the types of people you'll need to talk to if you're someone who's interested in forming one. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Like this video if it helped. Share it with someone you think it could help. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.